Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Have we ever heard of a band by the name of Love Bites out of Japan? No. No, he says. This is my next guest, Frank Meyer. He's a good dude. Frank is an author. He's written a number of books, including On the Road with the Ramones, When the Wall of Sound Met the New York Underground, Van Halen, A Visual History, 1978 to 1985, and From Dude to Dad, the Diaper Dude Guide to Pregnancy. He's also in a couple bands. One's called The Street Walk and Cheetahs. The other's called Trading Aces. He directed the film Risen, the story of Kron Helraza Smith. And he worked as senior content producer at Fender Musical Instruments from 2016 to 2020. His new film is called Freestyle 101 Hip Hop's History. It's out now. And you can read more about it at freestyle101movie.com. Or you can click on this trailer to check it out and see what you think. Let's jump into this reaction here with uh, Frank Meyer and see what he thinks about Love Bites. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a band called Love Bites. They are out of Japan. You are a true metalhead, and I really think you're going to enjoy their music. This is a newer track. It's called Stand and Deliver, Shoot Them Down. This is the official video. You can let me know what you think after. Let's give it a go.
hard enough. Wow. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty spectacular. I really like that. That's, I mean, again, that's right up my alley. Remind it musically. I, I'm hearing a lot of like anthrax and armored saint in there. Um, or, you know, at least certainly just straight up power metal. Um, but again, I love seeing young bands. I love seeing female bands that, that are, have their own voice and their own personality. And what was so cool about that is kind of totally opposite of the last group was like, they were really, they, they were just being themselves. And I love the sort of goofiness of all them having fun and smiling and, you know, like playing around while they're making the video and stuff. It, it, it just, it felt very genuine. It didn't feel like they were trying to be, I mean, the music is tough as hell. So yeah. like that's doing all the talking for them as far as like, Hey, aggression and tough. But I like that they didn't feel this need to then, you know, be all dressed in leather and, and, and you know, badass you know, bitches singing tough metal. Like they were just in their street clothes, having fun, smiling, goofing around, switching instruments, I didn't notice the that camera. the first time. I've only watched this once, and I didn't notice the first time. Yeah, they switch time. instruments at one point, I totally, I, which I, I thought it. was really fun and like a very old-school 80s sort of video thing to do. Like you'd see that in a Bon Jovi video, just, you know, the band goofing around. Uh, and all the, the parts where they're going like that, you know, like, again, that that's so not what you think of as a visual for that kind of music, which made it such an awesome visual for that kind of music. Um, I also will tell you just quickly that I, I'm a big fan of metal bands with really good singers. And what I mean by that is there's been a trend in the last, you know, I mean, at least decade of especially male singers, you know, having that sort of cookie monster thing. Oh. And I'm not saying that there's not a place for that, but, you know, I like singers that have melody in their voice. And that doesn't mean they have to be like, in fact, most of my singers, favorite singers are kind of whiskey throated, you know, kind of bluesy rock singers like John Bush from uh, Armored Saint and Anthrax is a perfect example where he's got like a bluesy voice, but powerful and can hit all the notes. Axel back in his day, ACDC, guys like that. Those are kind of my favorite singers. But I also love the Beatles and Cheap Trick and Melodic singers. Yeah. What I don't like is singers that just have no melody in their voice whatsoever. So every band you've played me on this show, especially that last one, like, you know, have really, really strong singers. And that to me is that kind of is what makes me really get into a band is I'm like, oh, if I'm humming those melodies and just, you know, I mean, I, I'm a singer myself, so I like singers. Yeah, I, I loved that. I I liked this. I've only seen this video once, and I liked this this time more. I really, really enjoyed it just now. That was really yeah. It's great. just straight up metal. I mean, I just love yeah. straight up metal, but also I love again that that they were having so much fun doing it because I feel like that's something that's missing in a lot of metal is fun. Yeah. You know, a lot of the bands I choose here is they're doing that. And music at the end of the day, if you're going to choose the arts as your profession. I hope you enjoy the hell out of it because, boy, you took a chance of doing, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't mean there's not a play. Like, I'm a big fan of Slayer. And, you know, those guys don't exactly smile on stage. I'm not saying there's not a place for really intense and anger and all that stuff. But I also just, you know, the older I get, the more, like, I really appreciate when I see a band kind of let their guard down and just be genuine and whatever that means to them. So when I see little moments like that in videos, especially from younger bands. I'm just like, Oh, how cool that these yeah. guys are so confident with their sound that they're yeah. willing to, you know, like be a little loose with their image. I think that's cool. All right. So for the next one, we're talking about confidence. We're talking about knowing your voice and stuff. Have we ever heard of a performer by the name of Ren? No. Oh, um, I actually... mean, you're not talking about Ren of Ren and Stimpy, are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, I knew you would go. <laughs> no, that was a crazy chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump into Ren. You can let me know what you think. All right. <laughs> hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>